Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, source. <laughs> I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, so for a king of pentacles out there, you don't have to be a king of pentacles, but this is the energy I picked up on. There is a woman that is obsessed with you in your energy. She is trying to seduce you or something. Um, but if you end up either going out on a date with this woman or laying with her, it's going to be recorded. It is something that's set up where if you like go out on a date with this woman, there is someone around you all that is recording or taking pictures because they want someone else to see. I don't know if you're interested in another feminine energy. And this queen of pentacles reverse that is around you or, or queen of cups reverse, whoever it is, that's around you wants to ask you to go out with them or wants you to take them out. May even want to pay you to do this. Um, it's all set up to uh, try to hurt someone else. I don't know what this is. And also the woman that you are interested in, there is a masculine that is being sent to her. I don't know if this is someone sending their son, or someone sending their lover, their brother, or a group that has coerced a man into going towards a feminine energy, uh, empress energy, to give them a false love offer. So it's like gaslighting a feminine energy. While this is going on as well, there may be some type of recording going on so that they can show it to you and let you know that someone is in a relationship, but they're not really in a relationship. So it's like the both of you are being set up to be in a situation that's not legit. But, excuse me, but they want your perspective partners to believe that it is something that is legit. This is all um, to block the two of you from coming together because if you see the woman that you are interested in either being with or working with with someone else, then uh, you're going to be broken hearted and change your mind about working with her or being with her. And if she sees you with someone else, they are hoping that it's going to break her heart and let go of you or something like that. Hopefully, um, you don't end up going with this person if you're not interested in them. I don't think the feminine energy I'm picking up on, I don't think she's even going to entertain this masculine for one bit. The man that I saw coming towards a woman is a very tall person, a uh, light karma complexion. You know, like if you have, uh, let's say if you have like a Hispanic and, um, African uh, uh, African American, a person of color, have a child together. That caramel light, that light caramel complexion, that very beautiful complexion, is what this man has, and he has a full set of hair. Um, it's not long, but his hair is very thick. Must uh, facial hair very thick, um, and he wears like a gold chain, a man's gold chain that stops. I think maybe like an inch below his collarbones or something like that. Maybe a little longer, a little shorter. <clears throat> doesn't matter, but this is a man that's very tall, could be anywhere from six feet to six five, something like that, but very tall, good looking person. It's supposed to be like when he comes to talk to you, divine feminine, you're supposed to be like uh just I, I don't know, like sprung or something like that. It's a word that's coming to mind. You're supposed to be out of your mind or something. Just Google Gaga over him that a man that good looking will talk to you. But I don't even see this woman entertaining this man. It's kind of like, yeah, who sent you? What do you want? Nice, see, nice to meet you. Have a good day. Something like that. It's all to block you and someone else from coming together, but it's not going to work. There's literally a woman out here that wants to pay a man to either go on a date with her or to sleep with her. Something like that. Okay? And it's all to, to stop, block, sabotage a love connection. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading. You have a king of cups that is still taking action to stop someone. Um... 
to attract someone, block someone, sabotage someone, once you're trapped in some type of situation, once you're having some type of mental disease, uh, feeling mentally um, unstable, not feeling safe, not feeling secure, trying to put an end to your wish fulfillment. Like some, someone is still doing something behind the scenes, and this is someone that you don't want to return to. You don't want anything to do with, and because they know you don't want anything to do with them, this is why they're taking actions to stop your manifestations, stop you from having wish fulfillment, and it's still not going to go in their face. For this man does not want to see you get married, get in a partnership. You could be a queen of swords, or this is the energy you are in right now when it comes to this man. It's like he wants you to be in a queen of cups energy when it comes to him, but you are in a queen of swords energy, and you are taking actions to defend yourself. This is you advocating for yourself. So you have someone from your past in the background of you. You may not even be in communications with this person, <coughs> but this is someone that has this... <coughs> Excuse me, let me get some water. I guess he don't want it coming out. <laughs> he wants to keep doing things from behind the scenes, but he don't want to want to find out. Excuse me, folks. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Excuse me. This is someone that's obsessed with you, has been lying about you and causing a lot of illusions just to have you trapped in some type of situation so that you don't connect with other people, do not want other people having foresight or insight about what he's really doing, uh, trying to block a new beginning, block your development, block your opportunities, block you from being successful and things like that. He's also doing things behind the scenes to block communications from me coming to you. So if there's someone that want to communicate with communicate with you, uh, which I see here, someone want to, wants to come towards you with some type of contract, some type of proposal, um, and it has to do with supporting you, the Empress energy. You are someone that's very balanced. Someone wants to work with you, tell you the truth, give you some type of clarity about a Ten of Pentacles uh, that they may want you to be a part of or they want to build with you but you have an ex in your background or this is someone you're familiar with it could also be just someone that uh is related <coughs> to someone else that you may know but whoever this masculine is in your background is someone you are familiar with or is familiar with you they don't know you deeply they're just obsessed with you and they do not want you being with someone else connecting with someone else i don't know if someone thought maybe if they left a uh, terrible relationship a toxic relationship they will be able to come back to you but what they're meeting is a queen of source energy you don't want to be with this person it's that like you're leaving the past behind you like someone wants to come towards you and cause you some type of heartbreak they're pissed off as well that you're healing and recovering from something so they're in this energy trying to figure out how they can cause you more distress it's kind of a, like a pathetic energy someone is really deep into something they've they've like lost their mental they've lost like Someone has lost common ground. They don't have, like, I don't know what it is with this man, but he has lost his mind. Like, he's very pissed off. Um, he's trying to have you be pissed off, but you, you are content. You're still happy behind the scenes. You're still fulfilled in life. Uh, still chill. Someone does not want you to be relaxed. Someone does not want you to be in the Queen of, sword, uh, queen of uh, Cups energy for anyone else. He wants that energy to be given to him, but you don't see this person like this. I don't even care if it's someone you did it before. You don't see him in that energy. You don't see him in that light. Like, there's no emotions when it comes to this person, and he's upset about that, which is why he's taking actions behind the scenes to block everything for you, so block connections. Uh, networking opportunities, business opportunities, love connections, uh, fulfillment. Don't even want you having a good night's nice sleep. Don't want you and your kids being happy if you have kids. Uh, if you have best friends, just anything. He does not want you being happy unless it's with him. Like someone is very obsessed. I don't know if he was paid to do something, but he's very determined to keep and control something that belongs to you. This is someone that's very angry with the fact that you know who it is that's trying to block your wish fulfillment, who's taking all of these moves, these calculations to block your wish fulfillment, try to control your finances. He may know that you have some type of abundance, someone coming in to invest into you because of your strength and your skills and things like that. He's in some type of remorse because he collaborated with a group of people against you. 
and now it has come back to bite him in the behind. He has lost a really important relationship with you and he's refusing to let go. Um, so this is someone who, yeah, he's losing everything. Someone may end up filing for bankruptcy with this 10 of pentacles in the reverse. Someone may end up just losing everything, family, uh, like divorce, uh, being homeless, go, going through a lot of stagnations because I don't see any good cards around this man. He got the two of swords. Ten of Pentacles reverse, eight of eight of swords with him as well. Like someone is really just re reckless going through a tower or about to be going through a tower. It's gonna take a really long time for him to recover from. Like someone is losing everything, their finances, just everything. Like it may even get to a point where no one wants to work with this person. He may be being rejected from a family dynamic or something like that that he chose to partner up with to destroy you i don't know if something has to do with uh family traditions or how they perceive themselves i don't know what this is but this man is going through a lot because of what he did he collaborated against you to block your forward movement to block your blessings sabotage your work and now he's living in fear because he stands to lose everything and this is how the universe has chosen to balance something out someone sabotaged themselves i'm telling you and now he may be having some type of epiphany or some type of awakening about your work he's been working really hard with a family a greedy family to sabotage your work to make it seem like something is not to restrict you in the kind of offers you have available, the kind of opportunities coming to you, how far your your business and things that, that, like that can go. Like someone is really just malicious and it's like they're failing to take accountability for their actions. They are still pointing the finger that you did something to them or they're just angry because you are who you are. It's like someone wants you to be like an average, average Joe nothing of substance to you like you don't think outside the box he feels uncomfortable with the way that you are you could be someone that's spiritual and gifted with this uh hanging man out here he feels like something is wrong with you because you are a little bit different you may be someone that's very abstract and this man is very simple minded and things like that but he's very pissed off at you for being you and he does not want people to accept you someone may may have made a promise um to do you something and to keep doing it. And he may, may have made a promise to keep going. And this is why he's losing everything uh, that he had before. It's like this is karma playing out for this masculine. Just literally losing everything. He may have to make a decision to cut his losses and move on. Because some type of karma this man is either going through now. Or is about to go through for taking some type of reckless and impulsive action against you. It's going to be very heartbreaking for him. I don't think anyone is going to feel sorry for this man. He's going to be out here looking for pity, looking for support, but no one's going to be willing to support him because the truth is out about what he's been doing behind the scenes and then pretending like he don't know what's going on. It's like someone is also trying to pin you out as this horrible character. Um, like you're just the worst person in the world, but it's like people are going to start noticing if this person is such a, such a bad person, they left you. <clears throat> And they're not even doing anything to you. They're not worried about you. Why are you so gung-ho on destroying them? It doesn't seem like they want to be with you. It doesn't seem like they have any ill intentions for you. It's like this person, this woman you're trying to destroy is living their life and moving on. You're the one following them from place to place. So something is not going to make sense for a group of people. They're about to start putting two and two together. Because this man has sabotaged you so horribly. And may have been out here telling lies, playing victim, maybe even getting people to donate to him and things like that so he could use that money to keep sabotaging you. Or maybe people were paying him. Could be a wealthy woman that has been paying him or a couple that has been paying him or helping him to sabotage you, to keep you blocked, keep you stuck or something, uh, uh, destroy your work or something of that nature, confuse people and things like that. Just causing a lot of havoc for no reason. And this is all out of insecurities. Someone may be dealing with mommy issues because men that go this hard after women, there has to be something going on in like their childhood. Maybe they didn't have a, they didn't have a good relationship um, with their parent. Their mother growing up, mother may have been a queen of swords reverse or something like that. And so he has some type of dis-ease mentally when it comes to his relationship with women. But whatever this man is doing 
it's not going to go in his favor. It's a lot of disappointments for him, but this is how it's always been. Someone could be going through some type of karma while he's plotting your ending because he does not want you in a commitment, does not want you to be seen, does not want you to be comfortable in life, does not want you to be collaborating with other people, making decisions out here that will benefit you, but this is leading to karma. Some type of revelation has uh, is taking place. The universe may have, may have or the, excuse me, or spirit may have reviewed something and this has people looking into something, okay, investigating. Uh, there could be a king of swords uh, that wants to come towards you to invest into you or something like that. Uh, threat with caution because this is someone that was working against you as well. It's like you've had a lot of people working against you in the background of you that you haven't done anything to. And this is all based on a lie. I don't know if someone told them that you were one way, but it turns out you're not that way. Maybe someone told them you were malicious, you were wicked, you left them out in the cold or whatever it is. There could be a feminine energy that told these people that maybe you stole from them, did something to them, but it's being revealed that you didn't do anything to these people, not the not the queen or whoever queen of wands reversed not anybody i'm not seeing that you did anything to anyone in here it's just a lot of hate and animosity be, being thrown at one person but people are not doing their due diligence to look into something they're just taking action it's like i've known this person for a long time they'll never lie to me we're loyal to each other but the whole time the person that you're being loyal to is lying to you about the person that they're telling you did something to them. They didn't do anything to them. It's going to be found out that this King of Cups was disloyal to you. Um, someone is not family oriented like he should be. May even be losing a whole family behind the scenes or something like that. I don't know what this is. Or he may have lost a family with you. Like he lost some type of relationship with you. And he's trying to figure out how to balance this out. How to fix it. This is why he's taking some type of action to come towards you. But he needs to listen to his intuition and let go. Because you're listening to your intuition about this masculine. You don't want nothing to do with this person. Um, and this is something he knows. Because that he's shown up as a king of cups. Which means he has some type of intuition. His intuition could be very strong with the hanging man out here. But this is someone that refuses to listen to their better judgment or use their better judgment because he's in some type of angry mode right now. He's like, you don't want to come back to me. You don't want to reconnect with me. You're avoiding me and things like that. I'll show you how. I'll show you uh, who I am and what I can do to you. But it's like still, whatever he does, you're still determined. You are still disciplined to move forward. Whoever you're supposed to be with is disciplined as well to put an end to some type of karmic chapter with a group of people. And it's balancing something out, okay? So a lot of competitions going on behind the scenes. Just a lot of unnecessary drama. And it has a lot to do with money. A whole lot of money. Uh, they don't want you to have. They don't want you to build. It's like people not wanting you to have something. And you're like, that, and you're like that's okay. I'll go build for myself. But then when you start building for yourself, they get in there and start destroying it. Because they don't want to feel like you're better than them or you defeated them. But the whole time, it has nothing to do with them. It's like you're just out here doing your own thing, minding your business. It's like, why can't everybody do that? You don't want someone to be part of something. That's fine. Like, keep keep carrying on with it. But then when the person decides to build on their own, why go and try to sabotage something that has nothing to do with you? They say, if you want a position, let them give you that position. You want the money, let them give you that money. Whatever it is, the, the, the relationship, let that person get with you. But if someone is disregarding you all time after time, because that's what I see a lot of these light workers doing, is like they're not paying all this drama any attention. They're just moving on with their lives trying to build. But people in these karmic communities are so pissed up. It's like, how dare you ignore us? How dare you pretend like we're not there? How dare you not be bothered by what, by what it is we're doing to you? But it's like, what kind of mindset is that? Like, what's wrong with you? You're taking all these actions to destroy people's lives, children's lives, and things like that. And they're still not, like, retaliating against you, but you want to get pissed off because they're not retaliating against you. But then when they retaliate, you'll be quick to cry wolf. Like, make up your mind. Are you the victim or the villain? Because this stuff does not make sense. This King of Cups is about to be playing the victim out here when the universe humbles him, okay? Because that's exactly what's about to happen. 
someone will be working with you, will be investing in you. Um, so he, he can keep doing whatever it is he wants to do, but whoever wants to work with you has already made that decision that they're going to work with you. There's nothing anyone can do to stop that. So he can cry wolves, cry blood all he wants, but it's like whatever this contract is that's supposed to come into you, it's coming in, in divine timing. It's coming in. It's destiny that's playing out. The wheel of fortune is moving forward. This is going to be something that is going to be balancing your life out. Something is being fixed. Something is being balanced out because something is just has been drawn out longer than it should be. I don't know if someone took a vow. I keep hearing that someone took a vow behind the scenes to keep doing something. I guess to keep sabotaging someone for another energy. Um, but it's like it's going to cause, yeah, someone took a vow to keep causing you endings. Especially when it comes to the decisions you're making to invest in yourself, to live in your truth, right? To live in your truth and tell your truth. Your truth is causing some type of tower or some type of epiphany or awakening for a, a community, a group of people, friends, or whatever this is, whoever were uh, collaborating together. Like people know the truth about you now. You're going to be having a new beginning. You're going to be having a fresh start. Um, coming out of the cold, stepping into abundance. Yeah, exactly what I said. Stepping out of the cool, right into abundance, moving forward victoriously because you were logical about how you handled this situation with integrity. Okay? Balance, heal. And whoever the, this emperor is that wants to work with you, oh, he knows this. I mean, he's, he's ending some type of karmic chapter with a group of nut, knuckleheads. I don't know if that's what he caused them, but... I, I think this man is just trying to stay strong and power his way through. Um, someone may be too disciplined for a group of people. It's like they're trying to dismantle. I don't know if it's his self-esteem or his mindset, but they don't even stand a chance. I'm telling you. You have a queen of swords behind the scenes that's paying for people to take reckless actions to keep sabotaging something that don't belong to her because she doesn't want the truth coming out about her but it'll still come out and she's not getting wish fulfillment she's disappointed and and it's gonna have to walk away like i don't know what this is it's really childish and immature as heck she did something behind the scenes she doesn't want it coming out it's coming out or it's out already but she's still determined to keep paying to have you stop block or just whatever this is to keep your finances stuck or to keep a contract from making its way to you. And so someone is taking some type of impulsive action to keep doing that and it's still going to backfire in the end. Okay, you're still going to get what is yours. Someone still is going to give to you. You'll still be collaborating with a new group of people and things like that. And this is what they've been trying to block for a long time. It's a queen of swords that has been paying people behind the scenes to block something, to stop something, keep something from happening, either keep a relationship from happening, keep your manifestations from ticking off and things like that. Like this is a low vibrational, insecure woman, very insecure, bothered by a younger energy. It's really sad and pathetic as heck. Like someone does not even know themselves at this age. I don't know who be in her forties, her fifties, really embarrassing. Yeah. She's trying to keep some type of friendship from coming together. She's trying to keep someone from establishing a friendship with you so she could be the one that's paying a masculine so that he does not support you. He can instead turn his back on you, sabotage a friendship between you and this masculine. It's not going to work. There's someone in your, pa in your past that wants to be the one to come in and give you this offer and you're not interested. There could be another masculine that's letting go of a family, a toxic Like You may have a few masculines behind the scenes of you that are trying to partner up with you. You have to be very careful who you accept an offer from. You could be someone that's very skilled, talented in whatever it is you do. You got a few options coming in. Just thread with caution. There could be someone, though, that's going up against a family, standing up for you and putting an end to all of this nonsense, exposing maybe a queen of swords for what it is she's been doing behind the scenes because he's seeing her for exactly who she is. So you have a king of cups reversed from your past and an actual king of cups within a family or something, uh, like a greedy family that's choosing to do the right thing like he's going through some type of epiphany he's having some type of awakening working hard to separate himself from these people and things like that i don't know what this is there could have been a couple as well that was paying 
a masculine behind the scenes or working with him behind the scenes. They have problems coming in. Uh, they may feel trapped or binded to a situation going through a lot of stagnations and blockages or this is what's coming up for them. You got a Queen of Swords that may end up losing everything. It's a Queen of Swords reverse that's going to end up losing everything. And then you got a masculine, like a Knight of Swords energy that's in a hurry to come towards you. This is not a genuine offer that he's coming in to give you. He's being sent towards you by this Queen of Swords to come in and put on a show, gaslight you, play with your emotions. This is not someone that's emotionally intact, but they all have some type of vendetta as a whole and individually to stop you from connecting with someone or to stop you from moving forward from thriving in life and it's all going to backfire it's not going to end in these pe uh, people's favor okay there could be something going on in the court system these people could have some type of legal issues going on i've been seeing the justice car out a lot with the seven of wands and things like that this court case may not end up going in their favor and they are living in fear about this yeah okay oh yeah there's a king of cups in a toxic family dynamic that is kind of letting go of worries he's not he's choosing not to burden himself anymore trying to stay calm let go of anxiety trying to recuperate trying to heal and things like that um like he's trying to stay hopeful about a situation that is going to play out in his favor things are going to be balanced out um, because he's doing the right thing or he may be trying to see things from a higher perspective I don't know if he's up against the king of wands that's trying to sabotage him or something like that I don't know what it is but you got you got quite a few masculines in the background of you that are trying to make it in your energy to make you an offer there goes the king of wands uh what is this he's obsessed or what is this I don't know what this is this could, be, this could be someone that's angry about you receiving some type of offer because he knows that you're going to be in the public eye. You're going to take some type of new direction. That's going to lead to a lot of opportunity and growth for you and put an end to a karmic family dynamic, toxic friend, friends dynamic, whatever it is. So it's rare with caution. This could be the king of wands I saw in my vision. That tall gentleman that's six feet or six five or whatever he could be taller really don't give no damn but this could be the person that's trying to come in and give you some type of offer or this is the person taking some type of action behind the scenes to temper with you temper with your work your investments and things like that someone is being paid to do something it could be a king of wands that's being paid to do something to you behind the scenes regardless at the end of it all you're going to come out victorious you will be receiving good news um, that's going to cause or lead to a tower for this whole community. And there's nothing they'll be able to do to even stop it. It's almost also as though these people have invested a lot into blocking you, stopping you, destroying your pathway. But at the end of the day, you're still stepping out and having a new start, fresh start. Maybe end up moving away, relocating. Whoever this woman of high honor is in a community that's been spending a lot of money to block you, trap you, and things like that is headed right to poverty, not getting her wish fulfillment. Um, and she could be upset about that. There could be someone around her that likes working with her, but it is what it is. That They're just as conniving as she is, so this is why they like working with her to block other people this is someone that's very disingenuine this is someone that buys friendship no one's really genuinely uh connected to her it's all because of money okay so someone is trying to whoever this other king of cups is that i'm picking up on he's trying to do his best to stay hopeful and calm thinking on how to balance a situation out or trying to figure out how to remove himself from a situation. He could feel stuck or something or stagnant at the moment, but because he knows the truth now, he's trying to figure out how to remove himself, relieve himself of the burdens, especially when it comes to this toxic family dynamic. They may not want this man leaving, but he will, or this man feels trapped and is trying to figure out how to let let go of something cut cut his losses and move on uh he could be like mourning a relationship with you as well someone may be crying at night or crying behind the scenes whatever it is like he's realizing as well that he may have enabled people to do something 
to someone that genuinely cared about him. You could be a queen of swords that was in a relationship with this man or you were supposed to have a contract with him and maybe he left you out in the cold and let people do something to you, maybe bully you or do something, whatever it is. But he feels like he's under judgment, may want to communicate with you, but it's afraid. Everybody is afraid of you being seen and heard because if you're seen and heard, it's going to have people thinking and figuring the truth out um, about the whole situation and how hard people have been working to lie and block you, trap you, cause you a lot of diseases and things like that. Uh, so that's what they're trying to, that, that's what they're working hard to block is the truth from coming out. But it's already been illuminated, okay? The truth has been illuminated, okay? You could have another king of wands behind the scenes that wants to give to you or there could be a king of wands working with a king of swords behind the scenes. I don't know what this has to do with, but it's quite a lot of people working together. Whoever this king of cups is, whether reverse upright, there's someone that's mourning a relationship with you. It's like he feels like he lost something very beautiful. It's like he took you for granted. He lost a whole family. What he always wanted in life is what he lost because I don't know if someone lost their mentor for a second and was chasing rainbows uh, and had on rose tinted gla rose colored glasses or something like that. And now that he has taken off the rose colored glasses with this hanging man out here, all he's doing is thinking about you and in remorse about a relationship that he had with you and he's realizing that it was a ten of cups. So he had a ten of cups and he threw it away because of some type of false promise that was made to him. He may have been promised a lot of money and he's not receiving the money or he may have received the money and misused it. Now he doesn't have any money. I don't know if someone feels trapped in some type of offer he may have received or in some type of position, whatever this is. Someone was very determined from what I'm hearing to be seen as better than you, more established, more developed than you or something like that. But he's realizing that he got rid of his number one supporter or something like that because the people around him don't really support him. So either that's your ex or someone else that you were supposed to partner up with. And because now he knows what he has lost is why he's been taking actions, like reckless actions behind the scenes to cause you a lot of distress and things like that. And I keep hearing that you advocating for yourself is causing a greedy family dynamic, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of distress. They're going through a lot of tor turmoil behind the scenes, right? They've been uh, paying, especially a queen of swords has been paying to cause a lot of illusions about you, to have you sabotage, lie, have your privacy invaded, have you monitor and things like that. Just have things destroyed for you behind the scenes. And she hasn't been wanting this truth to come out, but it's coming out regardless. You, on the other hand, as a queen of swords in the upright, you're manifesting a new, like a lot of new opportunities for yourself. And this is what these people are trying to sabotage. They don't want you connecting with anyone. They don't want people having foresight of what it is they've been doing behind the scenes. But I believe by now, this is probably current energy and people understand exactly what it is that's going on. So it's not that they can even really pretend it's not there. It's just that people may feel binded to a situation because they have been paid to do something. So they feel like they got to keep going even though they don't want to. I picked up on three masculines that may just be doing something because they feel binded to the situation. It's like they don't want to lose or lose access to a lot of money or something like that. Maybe she's paying them real healthy. But I don't know how hefty of a payment it can be if it's a, if it's a page of pentacles offer um if it was like an ace of club then yeah that would make sense but uh they would be like oh yeah well i see why they're out here gung-ho on destroying and blocking someone but it's a page of pentacles like how much is that um but anyways they're, they're, she's paying behind the scenes to have your work sabotaged to have you invaded they're trying to find something on you but they can't find nothing. There's nothing. It's like they want to find something on you so they can use it to blackmail you or to sabotage you. But there's nothing they can find. So she may have gone to the far extent of lying on you with her uh, partners in crimes and things like that. But the lie is not sticking. It's that whatever fraudulent, I don't know, document, story, plot line she came up with is just not sticking. All the illusions and efforts to sabotage you and things of that nature is not sticking. They're going to have to walk away. These people are refusing to uh, 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 self-actualize. Whoever they were sending towards you may end up not even coming towards you. 
uh, they're trying to stop you from leaving or trying to stop someone from leaving. You got a queen of pentacles that's causing a lot of illusions as well to stop somebody from leaving. Literally, she don't want you leaving a situation. She does not want you going towards a queen of cups to giving them an offer. This will be the woman that's trying to seduce you um, behind the scenes. Trying to put herself in front of you like she's an option. You may not even see this woman as like an option. You may not see her as like a love interest. Maybe you two just work together and that's all it is. You may be someone that has high morals or maybe you are going through some type of ascension with this eight of cups out here. Um, but it's in the reverse because this woman is trying to cause you illusions to stop you from leaving, to stop you from making an offer to someone. And it's really weird that I started out with that down low about two people being set up to make something look like what it's not. And we're ending up with the Eight of Cups. And that is because they don't want you connecting with this woman. So it's like the longer, what I'm picking up on as well is that you may be trying to assist a Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, like an Empress energy, right? Maybe they're in some type of fender bender or whatever this is. You're trying to leave a situation to go and assist them or to just reconnect with them, to heal things with them, whatever it is. What these people have figured out is that the longer they keep you stuck in an environment, the longer they keep you from connecting with this person, the worse it is going to get for that woman and they may end up putting her in some type of fender bender where she's not able to get out of it. So it's a very crafty plan that they came up with. Um, so you may want to be cautious. The universe is advising you to listen to your intuition when it comes to this situation. Even if you don't end up going towards that Queen of Cups, you may want to be careful with who it is you're build, building alliances with in this community because none of them have your best interests at heart. These are all people that are trying to use you for something. This woman is very obsessed with getting with you, but she knows that she's not your twin flame. You have a twin flame out there, and it's more than likely whoever it is you're trying to go towards, or it could just be you and the other and, and, the, and the divine feminine coming together, working together to manifest a new uh, reality, a new abundance, new community, new soul tribe, building something that's very successful very abundant of course it could end up leading to love but right now uh i think it will have to do with the both of you coming together and either building a business or you i guess investing into something and it's going to turn into something very abundant but i don't think it's coincidental that the two of cups and the four of wands are out here i think this is someone you may end up marrying and i have the emperor out here someone you're going to end up having a new beginning with after you leave this i don't know what situation this is this is just a to tumultuous situation that you are in i feel like uh there's a down low i got the other day and i think i was being told that there's a king of pentacles within an environment um it said whatever this is that's playing out is meant to help guide you out of that situation so um if you watch my content you may want to pay close attention because you're in some type of situation where you're being get kept there's a lot of get keeping going on around you so you need to be very mindful and pay attention to the people that you are sharing with people that you are building alliances with I don't think the people in your immediate environment are people that you want to build some type of strong alliance with. Like you need to keep it prof professional with these people because they're trying to trap you in some type of position. They're trying to trap you in some type of institution uh, so that you can end up experiencing some type of laws when it comes to a queen of pentacles that's in the upright. You and this woman are a match. Very business savvy, very down to earth family oriented they don't want you to have any of that and they don't want that woman to have any of that so they're all doing things behind the scenes to block you and that woman stealing from that woman trying to steal from you as well so thread with caution i'm gonna leave it there thank you all so much for watching stay blessed i see you in my next read goodbye for now